Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Every time Texas or Texas A&M play the fight song, they are reminded how much they dislike the other side. Texas fight song says so long to A&M. A&M fight song says goodbye to Texas University. They'll say hello to each other in the Lone Star Showdown. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. It's the Lone Star Showdown. These two Big 12 rivals have been waiting all week to get on the field. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. has the ball set how he wants it and we're just about ready to kick this game off folks it's fielded at the two tackle made at the 28 yard line so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field Under pressure. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the twenty-eight. Inside handoff. He's to the 40. He goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. And he's tackled after positive yardage. down run by the tailback anytime you have an aggressive defense like this mixing in a draw player or two can soften them up a little kill, kill, kill. second down 10 yards to go ball on the 49 yard line a quarterback in the gun with five receivers Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. They come out on an empty backfield. Kill, kill. Answer two. Excellent open field tackle. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. At the 15. They come out in a five wide set. The 10. Got it. And he goes down quickly. to his receiver. He's tackled at the two-yard line. Five wide. He 
He's taken down at the two. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Mike 55, Mike 55. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Several mismatches to choose from here as the defense puts everyone on the line against the five-wide set. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he tacks on the extra point. A 13-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Bryant ready to kick. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Butler's a guy that comes out here on the road. The coaching staff knows that he is in a hostile environment. I think they're hoping that that's going to play in their favor. Well, I think they want to challenge him. You know, over the over the year, I think they've seen that he has an ability to make plays, but when he gets on the road, he has a tendency to maybe to cough the ball up and not play as well. And I think that they feel like they can really try to challenge him, get this crowd into the game, try to crowd the line, put as much pressure on him as they can, and they feel that they've got a shot to slow him down. We'll see. Butler's stats are doing all the talking right now. He's one of the nation's elite players, and Herbie, we watched him on film. His motor is always running, high energy, a lot of talking. More importantly, he really demonstrates some leadership out there, too. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. side and they make the stop at about the 23 yard line they're about four yards away here on third down Taken down at the 14. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 14 yard line. He's tackled at the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Two times, two times. They line up in the jumbo set. Butler gets another handoff. Touchdown, Longhorns. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Atkins is lined up to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. Oh, what a hit. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Got a man. Watch 
watch out here. Tackle made at the 41. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. He lost the ball. It's recovered. a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defense alone. He's at the 40. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First down. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's into the open field. Makes it to the 24. First down. From the 24-yard line. First down. Big opening. Brought down around the 12 yard line. That's good for the game. 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. White for six. And down he goes at about the nine yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the nine yard line. It's second down. Touchdown, Texas. He makes the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Horn Frogs arrive at today's game range number six in the land. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. PCU has the edge, 10-3. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Texas ready to kick this one off. Robinson's back to return. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. He sails it long. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Scrambling around. 
tackle at the 32. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it 77. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That'll bring up third and eight. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. the 29 yard line it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it fires quickly he's got the tailback on another catch sheds one tackler he's tackled around the 24 yard line From the 21 yard line. Third down. He can't hang. He's not going to get me. Mark 55. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Caught over the middle. A yard, maybe two on the screen pass. Call the game two yards. That'll make it fourth and six. Kicks away, and it's Butsy Uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Horned Frogs take the field in this game, ranked number six, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Roadrunners keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Pater. The Horned Frogs are on top, 17-10. We're at 14-10 in this one, Reese. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Texas is up by four. He's taken down at the 49. Number 31 makes the tackle. 49 yard line. First down. From the 49 yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 47 yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Makes the catch and look out. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 27 yard line. That's good for a gain of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10.
First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. The Longhorns use their second timeout. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Longhorns. He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. This guy's on pace to having one of those career games. This has been one heck of a ball game for this young man. And he hits the PAT. So a five-play, 67-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Atkins looks ready to kick this one off. Robinson from the three. He's tackled at the 25. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's hit and taken down. Texas A&M is going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Black five, black five. Watch two, watch two, go. Go, go. Swings it out left to the halfback. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner. Good tackle there in space. Now he's scrambling. He's brought down in the open field. Texas A&M's out of timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He heaves it deep. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The Longhorns in front by 11. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Dave. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you... They need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Lambert from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. From their own 27-yard line, 
Second down. Slings it. Tackle made at the 46. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. situation here. It's third and one. They come out in a five wide set. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. It's away. Short punt. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Get him in the backfield. There might not be a more naturally gifted defender in the country. He made that play look easy. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 17. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Red two. Go. Flips it, middle to the running back. Brought down around the 17-yard line. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Wallace, back to return it. <laughs> Tackle made at the 44. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And down he goes, around the 40-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. are still on the field. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 33. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull it out there. Check the outs out there. Pull it down. Pull it down. Watch 36. Go. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. 
Jones, first, first and ten. ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. Gets out to around the nine. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 tonight. Let's go. Francis, let up. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. So at the end of the third quarter, the Longhorns lead 21-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. At the four yard line. With the technical error. Call the game of eight yards. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Stay fast, stay fast. Here we go. They'll get him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Cardinal came into the game ranked number two in hoping to prove the point that they belong to top the pole. And for Ball State, they've now dropped three in a row. The Cardinal win it 24-17. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Atkins, ready to kick. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. He's finally tackled at the 33-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Makes it to the 21. scrambling and he shoved out of bounds around the 13 yard line strike to his receiver no good about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. position to score. Touchdown, 
from Texas A&M. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 33-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Bryant has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Heading for the corner. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Texas is up by a touchdown. Throws completely stopped immediately. Number 29 makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, second down. It's third down and five to go. Ball in their own 47. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 41 yard line. First down. Taken down at the 38. Butler gets three yards on the carry. Texas A&M just took their first time out. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 38. He gets to about the 24-yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. Just under two to go in the game. And he's level at the 13. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Nice run there. Butler picks up five with the carry. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Longhorns. The Longhorns are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. He makes the PAT. 
A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Sooners come into today's game the fifth-ranked team in the country. The Sooners continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. Oklahoma has the edge, 7-3. Meanwhile, the Cardinals were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the pole. There was never any room to breathe in this game. And for Weaver, he winds up with a couple of touchdown passes. Florida State prevails. They win by five. Reese, we got a 31-17 game here. Atkins has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gets out to about the 21. I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Not looking so good for the offense. At this point, all they can do is put the ball in the air and hope. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Fires out to his wideout. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down around the 33-yard line. Strike complete. He's down. Spikes the ball. From their own 37-yard line. It's third down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 31-17, Longhorn. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.